Hey, first grade. So today we're going to talk about showing responsibilities at school and at home. And I know that we've just discussed this before, but now that we are in our virtual learning, we can now kind of talk about the different responsibilities that we have at home and at school because they've changed. I know in my household, it is very different now that my child is a virtual learner, who you will see in science today. Um, we, she has many different responsibilities. She now knows that instead of going home and playing with her LOL camper, which she loves, she now has to study and she has to grab her iPad and she has to get started. So I want to talk about those different responsibilities that we may now see since we are virtual, which is okay. So our responsibilities at home could be anything. Some of you could be taking out trash. Some of you could be in charge of baking things. <laughs> I know that I am not the one that bakes or cooks in my family. My husband is the baker and the cooker. I always seem to burn things. So that's not my responsibility. Um, your responsibility could also be, you know, washing your hands and making sure that you are safe whenever um, you come home from in, from outside. And so that those are different things that could be you could be responsible for. Now, you know, your responsibility could be to grab your iPad and log into Schoology um, and hope that Ms. Crouch doesn't make a mistake with all of her technology issues, which I promise I'm going to fix. Um, so those are just different responsibilities that we could have at home. Some of your parents' responsibilities could be going to the grocery store. That's a responsibility that we have. Making dinner, that's a responsibility paying the bills and doing all of that. Those are things that your par parents are responsible for doing. Um, so those are our responsibilities. Some responsibilities that you can help with are if your parent says okay to help cook something at home with parent supervision. Don't ever cook anything by yourself, always with parent supervision. Or you could help with the dishes and helping your parents clean up the dishes. Or you could help with some of the chores like mopping and sweeping like this little guy is. So those are some things that you can help your parents do. We also have rules, okay? And even as parents, we have rules. So we can't break these rules. Like we always need to make sure we wear a seatbelt. Everyone in the car needs to make sure they're wearing a seatbelt. That's a rule that we can't break. It's a law. We also have to make sure that we don't go above the speed limit. If we go above the speed limit, then we're breaking a law and we can't do that. We also have to know where we're going. If I don't know where I'm going, I could just be driving in circles all day. And I don't wanna be doing that because I'll have two little ones that are screaming behind me. So it's important and it's our responsibility to know where we're going. So you're gonna share with me some new responsibilities that you have at home. How do you help your parents with their responsibilities? Do you see or hear some new responsibilities that you can help with at home? So you're going to draw me a new responsibility that you have, and you're going to draw a picture and you're going to post it into Schoology and you're gonna write underneath it. I saw a lot of great responsibilities that you guys had in your last week's assignment. So I wanna see something different. With our new virtual way of teaching, I wanna know something new and different that you're having to do and a new responsibility that you have in our virtual, well, since we are now virtual learners, okay? And I want you to submit that picture into Schoology.